When you speed ramp your videos, do they look really jittery? Well, I'll show you a little trick on DaVinci Resolve to fix that, which is called directional blur. Always make sure to add directional blur when you guys speed ramp to a point where it's not gonna be smooth anymore. Let me show you guys how that's done. Let's get it. All right guys, so here we are and I'm gonna show you how to add directional blur on DaVinci. So this is the video we'll be using. As you guys can see, this is where the speed ramp starts and ends. Let me zoom it in to show you. Um, so as you see, there's 5,340% of speed ramp. It's not gonna be smooth whatsoever. So it's gonna look like that, which is kind of choppy and jittery. So to add your directional blur, you would go up here to your search bar, type in direction, direction. And if you don't see anything popping up, as you see the video transitions highlighted, go on open effects and you'll see it right on top, directional blur. You would take that and you would place it right on top of your video like that. And you're gonna notice your whole video gets a blur to it. Don't worry though. So in your inspector panel in the top right of your screen, right, go click on effects. As soon as you open effects, you'll see your directional blur placed in there, right? Make your blur strength to zero, right? This is the video now with zero blur strength. And now you gotta do your blur angle. That way it doesn't look off. So what blur angle means is, you see in the fastest point of my video, my speed ramp, what direction is, is the video rotating in? So as you see the right side, the back of his head, and it goes all the way around. So that's like a 180 degree, right? So I would change the blur angle to 180, okay? So this is what it looks like. Let me show you guys. So this is a 180 blur angle. And as you see, this is what a blur angle means. Like whatever direction the video is going in, that's the direction I'll be putting the angle. So mine is 180, all right? So blur string to zero. Now to add this effect onto your video, you need to keyframe it. So basically move right where the speed ramp starts, which is right here and move two frames to your left, one, two, right there. And you would add a keyframe right there, okay? So the keyframe, you gotta add on the blur strength, okay? And now, move to your right until you're in the center of your speed ramp, which is around here, right? And this is gonna be the max blur strength you're gonna have in your video. So you don't have to go all the way, right? Cause that doesn't look too good. Just up to there is perfect, right? And now keep moving to your right, right and you would move two frames after your speed ramp is done one two and you would make your blur strength zero again right so let me play this back for you guys so so it goes like that you see that guys you see that blur added on to that let me do this in slow-mo just to show you guys how it adds on so as you see in the timeline as i'm moving closer right keep an eye i'm moving frame by frame it's gonna start the blur right from here, right? You see the slight blur? Blur is gonna go up. It's gonna get even stronger, even stronger, and then strongest point, and now it's gonna start fading away. It's gonna get less, 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 and it's gone now, right? So this is how it looks after that. That's about it. There it is, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something new here. That's how I use directional blur on my speed ramping videos. Please make sure to comment, subscribe, and like this video, and I'll just keep making more videos like this. Thank you so much. Until next time.